Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What TV show never had a decline in quality? Keeping up with the Kardashians it maintained a standard. It was always absolute horseshit from the start and never improved. Can't go down when you start at rock bottom. Dunno. They could start digging. Avatar. The Last Airbender. The filler episodes were on par with the storyline episodes. That show shaped my teenage years. Except that damn canyon episode. The joy of painting Rip Bob Ross. You can actually see him get better through the episodes. He was never a master at painting he was a master at explaining how to paint to the average Joe. Master of finding happiness in a world full of turmoil, also. My snooty art friends love to point out how, paint by numbers, his process was. As if that's a bad thing. He brought joy and peace to people through how accessible he made the hobby. What really chaps my hide is those same art friends will say he didn't teach fundamentals. When for sure he did. He'd explain constantly contrasts and color theory while he worked. Just in such a simple and matter-of-fact way that it was easy to miss between shots of him with a rescue animal. Breaking Bad. Literally the only show I've watched where every season is better than the last. Then you need to watch Better Call Saul which gives the same feeling open mouth smile. Twilight Zone the original black and white. My favorite series of all time. I've seen all the episodes numerous times and even though I know the ending is coming. I still get goosebumps on quite a few of them because it's always so powerful. Next stop. Willoughby. Willoughby. The Good Place. The writers knew exactly what they wanted to do it. They did it. And didn't linger any longer even though it was surely successful enough that they could have gotten more seasons if they'd wanted to milk it. I just finished a full rewatch and I have to say. It gets better every time you watch it because you notice more of the little details. You can really tell that the writers planned it out well. It doesn't hold up to an immediate rewatch. Because so much of it is based on you discovering what's really going on as the characters do. But if you give it a year or so and watch it again. Just long enough to let it fade in your memory just a bit. It's really rewarding. The one thing I really hate about most TV shows is that they get really good and really popular and. The network and writers get addicted to the cash and don't know when to quit. It's why so many good TV shows end up being shit but The Good Place is not one of them. They said what they needed to say, wrapped it all up, and didn't ruin an otherwise perfect show. This old house. My dad would watch this when I was a kid. I'd complain and say how lame it was. But damn if I didn't end up sitting there and watching the whole thing every time. Just a real show. New Yankee Workshop as well. Everybody loves Hypnotoad. All glory to the Hypnotoad. No way. That's a terrible shush all glory to the H-Y-P-N-O-T-O-A-D. Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. Fight me. Nobody would fight you on this. Mr. Rogers wouldn't want us to. Blackadder. I'm. Scared. Sir. Still so powerful how they could sir a complete 180 degrees from comedy to tear jerkingly serious in three. Words. That episode breaks my heart to little pieces, but it's so perfect. Absolutely. It just got better and better with series one being fairly mediocre before they struck gold with the format from series two. The series four finale where they go over the top is the best series finale go any show ever. So emotional. A cunning plan. Mash. It only got better. What a great show. My favorite scene is when Radar gives Colonel Potter the horse. I was just a tyke when it originally aired. Mom regularly asked if I remembered sitting on my dad's lap when the new episode would air. I was a toddler. Nope. I don't remember it. But I always had a soft spot in my heart for the show. I'm watching it grin the start. I knew the departure of Colonel Blake was coming at some point. When the episode started, I immediately knew what was going to happen. Knowing didn't help. I sobbed like a child. What amazes me about the show is that it manages to simultaneously make you laugh while showing you the harsh reality of war. All without gratuitous violence or sex. That scene is good. But for me, it's when Hawkeye's father is being operated on and Charles explain how his father was a dick. And he tells him, where I have a father, you have a dad. Gravity Falls. I'm surprised I haven't seen this. Edit. I mean that I haven't seen this in the comments of the post. Not the show. I've seen the entire show LMAO. Multiple times. Hands down one of the best series finales I've seen in a long time. Just wish there had been more. Seasons. I have a 10 year reunion fanfic I'm writing in my head now. It was on Disney XD. If they didn't end it on their own terms it would have been cancelled. Unceremoniously. Malcolm in the Middle stayed pretty tried and true. That last season got pretty dark but it was still good. Yeah, it was a pretty major twist to have the main guy start a new family and become a drug kingpin. But they handled it well I think. Fleabag. A rare show that was even better in its final season. God. I love season 2. 
Hot. Priest. Is so. Hot. I've never been so physically affected by sexual tension in a show. The first episode of season two was a masterpiece. I look like a pencil. Claire. It's French. On this Thanksgiving weekend, let us remember how WKRP in Cincinnati maintained excellence through all four seasons. Turkeys away. As God is my witness. I thought turkeys could fly.